Hello. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome. It is Tuesday, December 8th, 2020. And I am not a ventriloquist. You are hearing seals and sea lions that are behind me. I'm in La Jolla, California, which is uh, northwest of San Diego. One of my favorite spots in all the world is La Jolla. And I love the La Jolla Cove where they have seals and sea lions. They're actually about 30 feet behind me. You can see them right behind my shoulder here. And there's some that are out in the water over here. And I absolutely love this, love this place because I love to be around nature, love to be around animals and mammals. So if you hear some burping and you hear some, uh, I don't know what else they do, uh, barking, it is these sea lions and seals that are right behind me, about 30 feet, um, right there. And there's some seagulls and uh, pelicans and of all the places I've been throughout the United States and Canada, this is in the top three uh, easily. So I love this place and um, it is a, a must see for anyone I think in their lifetime. They need to come here and it's just fun, fun place to watch. You can get really close to the seals, sea lions, you can actually go swimming. Um, this is the, of course, the Pacific Ocean behind me, and uh, it's a little bit rough right now, but later in the day it'll be a little more calm and people go swimming out here in this water, and they swim with the seals and the sea lions and stuff, so uh, this is my kind of place. Um, again, I love to go to places where there are beautiful backdrops, and I love to go to places where up oh, here comes five pelicans, six pelicans, right over my head. <laughs> yeah. You might be able to see them if they get low enough. Um, but anyway, I love La Jolla. And actually where I took the cover for my Restored to Freedom book is just down the, uh, down the ocean from here, or off the ocean, about maybe another, I don't know, six miles away, you can see it from here, which is where Torrey Pines is at. And uh, I was there yesterday afternoon, and then I came here uh, later in the afternoon. So anyway, right now you can hear some of the seals and the sea lions making their noises. It's about 68 degrees, supposed to be high, about 72. It's just ideal, there is like, no breeze. It feels perfect today. And I don't even really need to wear this jacket. So, all right. It's been a while since I've done a Facebook Live. And um, I've been busy. I've been busy the whole year doing a lot of ministry. And, uh, and uh, I've been traveling a lot, driving a lot the last couple of uh, days. And did ministry in Phoenix on Wednesday night did ministry in Phoenix when, or Friday morning, and then Friday night, and then I came to Anaheim, California on a Sunday night. And so I'm gonna give you some highlights of all of that since uh, I've not uh, done Facebook Live since before Thanksgiving. And then we will get into the teaching of the day. Today's teaching is the tide is turning against the enemy, which I think this is very appropriate backdrop, talking about the tide. You know, just how quickly the tide can change. And when it does, it's like there's nothing that can stop it. And I think it's very symbolic of what we're seeing going on with the election and the uh, Democrats trying to steal the election from Trump. So, so anyways, um, some of the highlights. Um, Friday night, when I was in Phoenix, uh, there were many people that came that did not know me that the Holy Spirit told to come based upon a Facebook ad that I had ran for about three weeks. And uh, one of them was a mother and a daughter. They both came. They were sitting actually near the back of the room and 
I saw the mom crying a lot throughout my uh, speaking. So you know at that point that the Holy Spirit is really speaking into the person's life. You know, it was the first time she ever heard the message about these spirits and how we get hurt and we get wounded and we hear demonic spirits and it causes us to behave in ways that are not godly. And um, at the end of it, when we take authority, that's the fun part where we kick out commanding the demons to go that attach to those wounds. And a lot of people get healed. And so I asked if people would let us know. They're like sunning themselves. <laughs> they got their heads up. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> Anyways, um, this woman, she um, put her hand up and she said that she could not raise her hand like, I don't know, above, maybe above her, her shoulder and she could put it all the way straight up in the air without any pain. And so that was cool. And then several other people had commented that their backs, they could feel shifted and they felt lighter. One guy actually burped <laughs> and, and later he talked to me and he was a great guy. He's, he was formerly uh, Jewish and then gave his life to the Lord. He's now messianic and um, great testimony. Um, in fact, the next day he had commented about how he was triggered um, even that night over a wound that he didn't remember, or at least he didn't correlate with this pain that he had in his, that developed like in his, I think, stomach region. And I, I told him to ask the Lord, ask the Lord, you know, what does that go back to? And then the Lord showed him. And actually he had a, a stint where he had to go to prison and he had accidentally knocked over somebody's drink and then it caused these people to get really mad and angry and violent and then they punched him in the stomach. And so when he recalled all that, the Lord was able to heal it. And he no longer had that pain anymore. He, he used to have that pain frequently, especially when it was triggered over hearing a loud noise. And uh, so, like, such as somebody closing a car door or a trunk, things like that. So, so anyway, he shared later that he had gotten healed. It was like a day uh, or two days after the conference because he was putting in place the tools that he learned when he was at the conference. So anyway, we had a great uh, turnout Friday night. And then, um, let me see, Sunday night in Anaheim, we had a tremendous worship at the Ecclesia Global with Pastor D.B. Brown. And wow. I guess that's the waves. <laughs> Sound like it was maybe a helicopter. They oftentimes have military aircraft. Yeah, I think that's a helicopter here that's off in the ocean. Um, so, anyways, um, in Anaheim, had an amazing worship, and then I spoke and at the end we had a whole bunch of people that put their hands up that got delivered and a lot of them got healed and again people with testimonies that they had given that they did not even know about who I was Holy Spirit told them to come and then they had all kinds of interference of the enemy trying to keep them from coming and then they actually came and then they ended up getting uh, delivered and then they got healed this one lady had testified how she couldn't turn her neck hardly at all and then afterwards she could turn it and she was healed and she was crying she was so happy that she came and then there was uh, another I don't know probably another 15 people that put their hands up and said that they had also gotten healed and um, great great testimonies in fact one of the one of them was a lady who had been there a year ago or not actually I guess in March when I was there it seemed like it was a year ago but it was in March and um, she testified that she took my Restored to Freedom book and she was giving it to gang members, gang members in uh, LA. And she would take them through the prayers and they would yawn. All of them would yawn as they were getting delivered. And I'm like, seriously, you, you took my book and you 
took it to gang members and <laughs> had them go through the prayers. I'm like, that's awesome. And she's like, yeah. She goes, it works. She goes, I love the book, Restored to Freedom. She goes, I, I have it all marked up and then I take people through the prayers all the time. So it works with gang members. <laughs> I love it. I mean, it works with everybody, people in prison. Ah, there's a cute little dog. It's like a chihuahua that's walking on top of the top of the uh, wall that's above me here. So cool. So anyways, great testimonies that came out of Anaheim and even the pastor said he felt lighter. Uh, he messaged me last night and said he's continuing to hear from testimonies from people who have gotten set free. So love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So awesome. So cool. Um, and to let everybody know, I'm going to be ministering tomorrow night in San Diego. So if you are in the San Diego area, we're actually meeting at a personal home. So if you want the address, private message me and I will give you the address. Uh, my good friend Julio, Julio Figueroa, is uh, hosting me here in San Diego. And we're going to actually connect probably for lunch today. So... Me and Julio down by the schoolyard. Remember that song by, uh, what, Simon and Garfunkel, I think? <laughs> um, so anyways, looking forward to that. Uh, Wednesday night, it's tomorrow night here in San Diego. Actually going to be meeting in Chula Vista, I believe, is where it's near, which is like, whatever, just southeast of uh, San Diego. Of course, you can't go much further south, otherwise you hit Mexico, so. And then on Saturday, Saturday morning at 10 a.m., I will be in Ojai, California, which is northwest of LA, at the Bread Broken Ministries from like 10 a.m. until about uh, probably 3 o'clock, something like that. I'll be doing deliverance in the morning and then doing uh, probably some prophetic words over people in the afternoon. And then on Sunday, I'll be at the Hope in Christ Satakoy Church, which is in Ventura, California. Again, that's northwest of LA. And then I'm taking the rest of the year off. Yay! I need like a month off. And I uh, just need to relax and uh, not do ministry for a while. I've done ministry so much this year that it can kind of uh, <laughs> wear you down. And so I'm looking forward to uh, having a great holiday season and then starting things back up January the 10th. I'll be in Greenville, South Carolina at the Faith Family Church. That's a Sunday morning and a Sunday evening. And then on January the 15th, Friday night, I'll be in Birmingham, Alabama at the Four Points by Sheraton. And then January 16th in Atlanta, Georgia at the Atlanta Marriott Perimeter Center. And then January 23rd in Charlotte, North Carolina at the Renaissance Charlotte South Park. And I've got um, some other ministry on scheduling such as in North Dakota, Jamestown, going to be there around May. I'm not going there in January or February. I will not be in cold climates when it's January and February. And I'll probably be doing some ministry um, in the South more, like in February, like in Florida and things like that. So, anyways, stay tuned on that. All right, so the t topic of the day called the tide is turning against the enemy and oftentimes again it may not look like that but oftentimes the Lord over and over again in the Bible he loves it when everything looks bad looks negative and then all of a sudden things shift and miracles happen he loves it when uh, things look horrible which they do right now, you know, in the United States with uh, Biden and all the cheating that was done in the election. And, uh, but exposure is coming and has been actually. I mean, those who follow the correct news sources where the truth is being being spoken of, those, those that listen, of course, to the liberal lying news, and they're not honest, and they're not going to share the truth with you. So that's huge, it's huge. Where you get your news source from? Do you get it from 
you know, Newsmax, you get it from One American News. Oh my gosh, <laughs> there's some seals like. In fact, I'll, I'm gonna show you the seals up close after we're done with the teaching. They're like 20 feet away from me. <laughs> They're getting closer. I'm like, stay down there. I, they, they can bite. It's so funny, they just put their heads back. And they get suntanned or whatever. <laughs> so anyways, it's important that you get your news source from the correct places that are going to tell you the truth and not lie. As we've seen on social media, that even social media will censor the truth and try to shape the opinion. I think that seal has a cough. They may need to take some... Uh, <laughs> they need prayer for healing. So they need all right. There's like a big helicopter right out there in the ocean, hovering. All right, so let me go ahead and start reading the blog. So, so many people have been programmed to be, quote, good little Christians and to obey our leaders and rulers and do what we're told to do. That if you disobey your leaders, then you're sinning and you'll face the consequences of disobedience. To never question what you are told to do and if you do, then you're being rebellious. This is what happened in round one of the pandemic back in April, as most people believed what they were being fed, because it appeared to be true what the liberal media was trying to convince the world of, trying to instill an unhealthy fear that a virus with a 99.8% recovery rate is somehow the most feared situation the world has ever seen trying to force healthy people to wear a mask for the first time in world history out of fear. Now we can all see that this was simply a plan to try to force various states to accept mail-in ballots that would allow hundreds of thousands of fraudulent votes for Biden and to try to shut down businesses in the U.S. so that Biden could force socialism upon the greatest country in the world all financed by George Soros and other evil anti-American factions. But now people who have any discernment are no longer being fooled and are standing up for our religious freedom and liberties and not allowing the country to be shut down for a second time. It's interesting, I was in uh, Orange County. You can hear them sneezing behind me. <laughs> I was in Orange County and talking to some of the locals and of course Huntington Beach is open like it was last time uh, but they tried to shut down a lot of the beaches before yet Orange County was staying open and what I've heard now is I guess the local uh, county enforcement in Orange County said that they will not shut down they will defy the order of the governor Governor Newsom and it said, we are not shutting down our economy. We are not shutting down our restaurants and so forth. So, so it's time for people to say, we're not going to be bullied anymore. We're not going to allow our restaurants to go out of business. And many, many, many lives have to depend upon the state, which is what the goal of the socialists are to do. Uh, Back when I was in Chicago, they said they lost over 5,000 restaurants. Over 20 to 25 percent of the restaurants have gone out of business now in Chicago because they allowed the mayor to shut them down. Instead of saying, no, nope, we're not going to take this, we're going to stay open and you can wear your mask if you want to, but not for a 99.8 percent recovery rate uh, of, a, of a sickness. So, now related that to what's going on in the election, most people have given up that President Trump has a chance of winning because so many people with evil agendas are so stacked against the godly minority. Got to keep looking. <laughs> Make sure that the seals and the sea lions aren't getting closer to me. <laughs> Uh, the Democrats have willing allies in the lying liberal media to cause people to believe lies and not know the truth. They have large corporations with huge money and big tech social media companies who are censoring the truth. 
but it's not over until God says it's over. God loves it the most when the enemy thinks that he's won it. But then the tide begins to turn, and all of a sudden, the enemy loses, and the good guys end up winning. Remember when Haman in Esther, the book of Esther, built the gallows to kill Mordecai and was planning to annihilate all the Jews. And then uh, Mordecai overheard what was going on in the plans with Haman. And so he ended up telling Esther, and then Esther approached the king to save her Jewish people. And then all the Jewish people, once the truth came out, and the, and the king was upset, was able to have the Jewish people turn the tide and kill all those who had the evil plans um, to come against the Jewish people, including Haman was hung on his own gallows. And then Mordecai was given Haman's house to live in and took over his position. How cool is that? So I believe that that is what we're getting ready to see is a tremendous reversal and a change where they're going to announce, and it, again, it very well could go to the Supreme Court, and Trump will win. And then, of course, there'll be a bunch of rioting and so forth, but that's, uh, we can hopefully collect all those who are rioters and put them in jail and say no more, no more throwing fits like uh, adult temper tantrums. It's ridiculous. Um, also, think about when the giant Goliath had challenged God's people and mocked them over and over, and it looked like certain death for all of Israel. Then, a young shepherd boy named David had the faith to believe that he could actually defeat Goliath because he had God on his side. Then, when the battle began, it took David one attempt to kill Goliath. Let a, he let fly a rock from his slingshot, and it hit Goliath in the temple, killed him on the spot, and then caused the other Philistines to scatter. So America, sorry about that, you guys are noisy, uh oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, there's a seal right there, <laughs> he's like working his way. <laughs> there's a helicopter, boy there's a lot of noise going on here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's a seal right next to a seagull. <laughs> I don't normally see him up there. All right. So America is at a huge crossroad now as the world is bracing for what could be the greatest comeback, most dramatic changing of the tide ever. When the tide changes, it happens quickly. The liberal lying media has already declared that Biden defeated Trump, but the truth is that Trump has already defeated Biden. Biden cheated in multiple ways with the Dominion voting system, switching votes from Trump to Biden, and fraudulent ballots being stuffed by Democrats. God is now ready to reveal the truth to the world. He always waits until right before it appears that the enemy won to show off and expose the truth. So, get ready to watch another miracle comeback of epic worldwide proportions. Will it go to the Supreme Court to be decided? I think it will. So true Christians around the world have been praying and fasting that the truth will be revealed and that Trump will be announced the winner to save America from the socialists who want to destroy it. God hears the prayers of the righteous and he will not turn his face away from them while being far from the wicked. Proverbs 15, 29 says, the Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayer of the righteous. So let's thank the Lord in advance for victory today and expect that the tide is now turning against the evil ones. It is gonna be a time of true celebration as the Lord knows that Trump won and soon the rest of the world will see it as well. Speak life boldly and never give up hope. God loves it when the underdogs win what looks like a totally winless situation. Prayer changes circumstances when we don't give up and continue to speak life over a situation. So I'm going to pray and declare right now, and you guys can join in. We thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord, 
for President Trump, all that he has done, all the sacrificing that he has done in his life for a country that he loves, that is completely, most of them, ungrateful for all that he has done to try to rescue America out of the hands of the socialists. So we expose the truth right now in the name of Jesus. We expose the truth over America that these, those who have evil intentions to bring down our country are being exposed in the name of Jesus. We declare, Heavenly Father, for the judges that are ruling, that they will rule in the favor of you, Lord, and what you want, which we know is your hands upon President Trump. So we just expose all lies, all deception, all deceit, all fraudulent ballots, all fraudulent computer systems, voting systems, Lord. We expose the truth in Jesus' name, and we declare, Heavenly Father, that President Trump will be announced the winner. We declare, Heavenly Father, that our country will be saved from the anarchists, from the George Soros, from the uh, Clintons, from the those who hate America, those who hate Christianity. We de declare, Heavenly Father, Lord, that they will all be exposed and they will be brought to justice in Jesus' name. That we will not tolerate any more corruption in this country in Jesus' name. And we declare, Heavenly Father, that the tide is changing and that the enemy cannot stop it, Lord. We declare, Lord, right now that you will give boldness and confidence to all the individuals around the world who have decision-making capabilities to change this outcome, Lord, in Jesus' name. We declare, Heavenly Father, Lord, those who are in the church, that they will stand up for President Trump, that they will be honored by the Lord. Remember, Dr. Keenan Bridges said that he had a dream. This is like six months ago, and the Lord showed him that if we are supportive of President Trump and we honor him, that God will honor us. And so I declare that in the name of Jesus, that if you're not for Trump, then you are, you are against the Lord. The hands upon President Trump, Lord, as so we thank you, Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, that people will stand up and be bold and be counted, because you will have to give an account you did not vote for him. So I thank you, Father God, for all those faithful Christians who are truly godly and who would vote for what God's man is, who's God's man, Lord, in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father, for all those who are clueless, that they will get a clue, that you will show them, Lord, that you will appear to them in dreams and visions and showing what Trump is trying to do to save America out of the clutches of the hands of the evil ones, the socialists, the communists, in Jesus' name. Wow, sounds like the seals are praying in tongues. <laughs> Thank you, Father God. We praise you, Lord. We just release the truth right now, in Jesus' name. This is December the 8th, New Beginning eighth day of the month we declare a new beginning lord and that the truth will be just like the tide when the tide changes nothing can stop the truth we expose the truth lord we will not give up we thank you father god we praise you lord jesus we thank you god we praise you lord in jesus name you do hear the prayers of the righteous thank you lord in jesus name amen and amen and amen and amen all right, now I'm going to take you guys on a tour of this La Jolla Cove. I'm going to give you a tour. So let me pop you off of here. There we go. And I'm going to flip this around. This is where I was at. Ugh. Huh. All right, here are our noisy friends. Let me get really close. Look at the seals and the sea lions. 
Aren't they cute? You're just right there. I don't know how comfortable those rocks are. <laughs> Can you imagine sleeping on the rocks? <laughs> hi guys! Say hi to Facebook! No striving! No arguing! No fighting! Up there. So pretty. See, look at that. He puts his head way up in the air. <laughs> Reminds me of a dog that I know <laughs> that likes to howl. <laughs> it's so pretty here. I just want to go down there and pet them. Hi guys. Can I pet you? Wish I had some fish I could throw to you. Just so peaceful here. Somebody needs a tissue paper. You keep sneezing. You just blend right in. I'm about 10 feet away <laughs> from him. These are way better than prairie dogs. <laughs> hey there, guys. Wow, the sun's coming out. Really warming it up. Okay, now I'm going to walk you guys around this cove so you can see some more of how beautiful that it is. Here's my chair all by myself. There was a seal that was right over here. I don't see it anymore. Got the whole place to myself. So pretty.
Okay, there. Yesterday there was a bunch of seals that were right here. Okay, now their seals are over here. Right there. Look at the sea lion right there. It's got like three babies next to her. So pretty. I just want to go touch it. Got an itch. Itchy, itchy. <laughs> what a life. <clears throat> so pretty. Now, I'm gonna take you guys up here. So pretty. And this is La Jolla, there. You can actually walk down there on that beach and there's people that go swimming with the seals. They just jump in the water and start swimming. So pretty. Look at the pelicans. Right there are some pelicans. All right, now let's walk this way. I can show you from where I was at, from up above. Whoa, 
so pretty. So there's my blue chair. Yay, Victor Miranda. You enjoyed coming to La Jolla too. Isn't that nice? They waited until I was done. So pretty here. And then a lot of people come to this park here and they have lunches and picnics and dinners here. Hello bird. So you can just walk right out here on the cliff. And then try not to die. Hello, seal. Reminds me of a scene of a movie in Ireland. So beautiful. Feel so much peace. Peace that passes all understanding. That's what happens when you get delivered. You have peace. You don't fight, you don't strive, you don't argue, you don't try to control other people. You love them. Ah. Alright, let's go back up. Again, you can go uh, really close to the edge if you want to. <laughs> yes, I've only been on a surfboard once and that was in Malibu. <coughs> Excuse me. And my uh, daughter got up on the surfboard the very first time she ever tried and it took me about 10 attempts before I finally got up it's not easy not easy at all all right let me go back not pretty So pretty.
We thank you, Father, that the tide is turning in America and that people are turning to the truth and not going to stand and tolerate lies anymore. Amen and amen. Oh, somebody, somebody just walked past me. They're talking about Sidney Powell. <laughs> Is that pretty? So pretty. Yep, the truth is coming out. Here's some guy exercising with ropes. You normally see those people at LA Fitness. That's a big jump rope. Maybe I should jump in it and try to skip. <laughs> So pretty here. And this is one of the top three places that I love in America. It's La Jolla. So pretty. All right, let's go back and see the seals again and sea lions. And then we can say goodbye. Love Southern California. Guys, you're still moving those ropes. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love to go for walks next to the ocean.
and down there is where I, the cover of my book Restored to Freedom I took with the sunset. Okay, down here is where the sea lions are and the seals. So I will make my way down towards them. There they are. Uh. Uh. Here I am again. And there they are. Hi guys. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed your cameo experience. So, say goodbye everybody. <clears throat> and we'll see you. I'll probably do one tomorrow. And then on Thursday, I'm doing an interview of a couple from out here in California who have a great testimony that just got married and can't wait to share it with you guys. Cindy and John are their names. So that will be Thursday. Thursday will be a special time at 4 o'clock Eastern, 1 o'clock Pacific. So stay tuned for Thursday. And then Friday I'm doing a podcast and doing a TV interview with Holy Spirit Broadcasting Network. So And then Saturday I'll be in Ojai, California and Sunday in Ventura. And then I'll be heading back. So, alrighty. Love you guys. And we'll see you guys on Facebook. Alright, bye-bye.